Meanwhile, Chancellor Merkel has been to Istanbul today, putting a plan on how to handle the refugee crisis together with Turkey's Prime Minister. To talk more about those efforts, let's bring in former Greek diplomat Leonidas Chrysanthopoulos. You're very welcome to the programme, sir. What Germany and Turkey have agreed is that the latter would do more to tighten its border controls in exchange for financial assistance and the acceleration of its EU membership bid. Would that help Europe to better control the influx of refugees? No. The issue from the European side is examined in a wrong way. The issue is not to stop the refugees from coming into, into Europe, because they are leaving a country that has been destroyed by armed conflict. The only way that you can have a solution to the problem is by stopping the war in Syria. And you can only do that by recognizing Assad and trying to reach a compromise solution with him on the future of Syria. But the war must, must stop. The European Union is, is, is not doing that. During the summit that was held a few days ago, their only problem was how to prevent the people from coming into, in, into Europe. Well, you can only do that by stopping the war. And I think that the point of view of Moscow in this respect is uh, quite correct. Regarding EU membership for Turkey, if it eventually joins, how might that impact the refugee crisis, do you believe? Well, it, well uh, Turkey will not join tomorrow. The problem of the Syrian refugees is a problem that must be solved today. So it will not impact at all uh, when, when Turkey joins and if it joins, and that will not happen in the next 10 years. But just on that point, critics say EU membership for Turkey is too high a price for Ankara's help with refugees. How do you see that? Well, Greece has been having problems with Turkey in handling refugees. We have, we have signed a, a uh, bilateral uh, a, agreement that uh, Turkey would take back any, uh, any immigrants illegally coming in, into Greece. It has never been properly implemented. The European Union has signed such an agreement and still there are problems in its implementation. But that's not the issue. The issue is not Turkey. The issue is the plight of the human beings that are in Syria. And also I would like to add that the use of the word hotspot for safe haven is very demeaning for the people since the word hotspot has been using for internet connections now and not and I don't think it should be used for human beings. No, absolutely. Why is Europe only now starting though to cooperate with Turkey on the refugee crisis, do you think? Well, nothing much seems to be working in the European Union today. From the Greek crisis, uh, I mean, the, I think that the politicians of the European Union are alienated from what their people said. And we saw that uh, just a few days ago when uh, the Commissioner Elstrom said that on the, on the agreement between the EU and uh, the United States, the TTIP, that I have no mandate from the European people. I mean, that's absurd what, what she said. I mean, as if she gets her mandate from other circles in other parts uh, of the world. OK, Leonidas Chrysanthopoulos, former Greek diplomat, thank you very much for coming on RT International this hour. You're welcome.